rapper, Miss Ali and Hard White. Real Godfather, so please subscribe. As I watch a video, me have to do it every time. Share with my friends, comment, like. Rapper, crapper, the struggle is alive. What's up my beautiful people, how are you wonderful people is doing? Boy people more time I talk about the struggle and sometimes some people don't even understand how I say the struggle is real. You see me I say, the struggle is real for many different levels. Right about now people, this kind of video, I feel like I'm tired of them. You understand? This lady lose her mother because the hospital them not do what they're supposed to do. Them not look after them patient the way they're supposed to look after them patient. No, my beautiful people. This is not the first time we see these kind of video. We see them regular. All right, now I feel like so we are see them too regular. But you now let's hear what she had to say. Then we can talk after. The struggle is real. Me crocodile tail. Her. You know, this morning I woke up. And I feel so hurt, you know. My mother died. I lost my mother yesterday. And I know that we all have to die one day. But when it's the negligence of the hospital system in Jamaica that led to the death, the sudden death of my mother, it hurts. And I, and I think people should know what is going on in Jamaica medical system the health system is is rubbish it's garbage so i ask you to blast this for me put it over pink wall i need christopher tufton to see this video i need the prime minister to see this video and people need to see this video if your family member is sick and end up at the hospital is that you can prepare plan funeral plan I'm funeral i'm there my mother is Gloria Smith Paris from Falma Trelawney, well known, beloved woman. Used to operate restaurant. She cook, give everybody. She got sick in the wee hours of Friday night, early morning. She had a stroke. Two o'clock. She complained that the pressure is high, and my father gave her the pressure pill. By five o'clock again, she get up herself, not responding, not talking. So they rushed to the hospital, the farmer hospital. I reached at the farmer hospital about 5.15. And listen to me well, I'm not making up any stories. She went to the farmer hospital 5.15 a.m. Saturday morning. And when I got the call up, my mom was ill. I reached at the hospital 5.30. We don't live together. And when we went down there, I said, all right. My neighbor took her down, so I took over from my neighbor. And I said, all right, doctor, did she get anything? They said, it looked like she having a stroke, so she cannot get any medication. They have to do a CT scan. I said, all right, so let's get the CT scan done. Ma'am, there's no CT scan machine at Farmworth. Like, listen to me. I said, oh, if you have a hospital without a CT scan machine, a big hospital, public hospital in Trelawney, Falmouth. She said, we are in partnership with Radiology West, Montego Bay. And so we have to wait until Radiology West is open, 8 o'clock. My mother is in pain, you know. When they check my mother pressure, 235 over 119. She said, my head, my head. She said, my neck back. She said, pain. She said, go for me pressure pill in my brown bag. And I said, we cannot give her anything because she has been a stroke. I said, Lord Jesus, my mother is in pain. She said, my head. She said, my head, my head, my head. We said, all right. She went up herself again. I said, somebody can help me change her. We change her off. We said, you have any more robe? They said, no, I said, Lord Jesus, she, the time she taking off her clothes, she torment, pain in her head, oh she torment, she said, get me pressure pill, I said, mommy, so she in and out of consciousness, I said, mommy, you can't get no pill yet, we have to wait, we wait, we start calling radiology, it was 8 o'clock, nothing, nothing, we said, but what can go, so she's suffering now, she can't get nothing, 
with in watching my mother suffer and I say I can't do anything. Eight o'clock, I said, Doctor, Doctor Wilkins. I said, Listen, it's eight o'clock now. The family is ready. They said, You have to pay for it. I said, Money ready. Let's go. Mom, you have to wait. I said, but Again. Jesus. I said, I said, What do you mean I have to wait? You say the place open eight o'clock. We're trying to call the place. I said, Call the hospital, Mom. I cannot call yet because, as you can see, I'm the only one working in emergency. What I said, That's not my business. Jesus. My Jesus. mother is suffering. I said, This is an emergency. You tell me to wait. I'm here from 5 30. She crying for her head. She waiting up herself. Oh God, my heart. You think it's easy to watch my mother suffer? Can't be. Can't be. Eh? We call, call Radio Legends. We can't get them. My sister that came from Montego Bay to farm out had to drive back to Montego Bay to find Radio Legends at Fairview. We had to get a number. Give the hospital to call. The right? Them so we get the number. We pay the money. We send them the receipt and say, see the $25,000 here, it's paid. Get my mother going so she can get the CT scan so we can start treating her. She's suffering. People, Jamaica. Jamaica. When we pay the bill and get the receipt, we say, all right, doctor. Can we go now? Miss, you have to wait. I say, but what this man me do? What do you mean to? I say, yeah. me say, I'm not going to watch my mother suffer and die. We say we have to pay for it. We pay. Wait, it not finish yet. If the video shaking, my hand is trembling. I'm weak. It's okay. We understand. We understand. You understand me? Members. My brother, I come out. My brother going. My brother says, sis, they say must wait until twelve o'clock. Me say what? Mighty fine yet to. to and a sunny Indian my mother say, take off her clothes. So somebody have to be at her bedside. Nothing. She can't get nothing. So she's suffering, you know, from 5.30, oh 5.15. God. The attitude. Ma'am, you have to wait. I'm the only one in. Oh, come. Oh, if you have one doctor, they run emergency ward at a big time for a hospital. Anyhow. We say, can we take her to hospital? No, because if she goes to hospital, you're not going to get the, the, the CT scan result as quickly as if she do it here. I say, all right. I say, so all right, we pay the money. So where is the ambulance? Ma'am, there's no ambulance available. I say, but what is for me do? I say, so where is the ambulance? Miss, only two ambulances working at Farmer and they are I say, so can we get a private ambulance? Listen to me now, you know. Ma'am, if you get a private ambulance, no hospital nurse is going to want to go. And it. I say, what, why? Because apparently insurance don't cover them if anything happens. Mr. Mr. So what you left me to do? Mr. So what you leave the family to do? We're trying to find a way because the hospital now have no CT scan. They now have no ambulance mover. And you want to tell me, say, not, not at all. We, 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 we can't, we can't, nothing. We can't provide nothing. But I remember that they cry. Pass the pressure pill. Pass the pressure pill. My head, my head. She's from so 5.30 now, you know. We come off the ward. Then say must wait till 12 o'clock. So you, you are watching my mother suffering with pressure extremely high. Yes? All right. 12 o'clock come, Mr. Security. Can you please go in and tell the doctor it's 12 o'clock? So she, she needs to go down to Radiology West Montego Bay. Security come back and tell me, so they say it's not her time. They're going to send the ambulance to hospital first with some other patient and come back. Me say, me say, you're mad. Me say, we're there for 5.30. Me say, I dead. You don't want her if you're dead. Me say, security, I don't want to root to you. you know. Me say, go back. Go tell the doctor, say, at 12 o'clock. And my mother need to go. Security come back and say, all right, all right, all right. They're going to take her. So the ambulance took her after 12 to Radio Legends. So some family member went down there at 5.30. Before my mother came back to Farmouth Hospital because they packed up the ambulance with about four people because they shot the ambulance and they have no equipment. No equipment. Not to, so if you're sick, don't go to Farmouth Hospital. You go dead. When she come back 5.30, we say, all right. She's still crying for her, you know, from 5 o'clock in the morning. So they put her on female medical ward. We fly go over female medical ward. All right. Where the result come now so we can't see what is happening so they can't start treat her. No, we wait, wait, wait till 8 o'clock. Mother crying. 
She say her from morning, my head they hurt me and you can't give me nothing. She say my head. She said, send for me alcohol. She said, oh God, my head. She said, take it off. Take it off. My head hurt her till she said, take it off. She said, take it off. Oh my God. Take off your head. She said, take off your head. My head they hurt me, take it off. Me said, nurse, not even little set of all. The mother in a pain from morning. Me said, not even little set of all. Then said, she can't get nothing. Me said, I don't know if pay. For the CT scan, to get back the result quick. And I say at 8 o'clock with the hospital, no result. They say we have to leave. We leave. And they will call us. And everybody gather at my father. Because my father is also sick. 10 o'clock, we get a call. Result come, ma'am. The result is here. You have a prescription. She needs to get Imadipine and Panadine. And she has to get it tonight or else. And you know what or else mean. This is Twin Brothers from the Royal Maroon Herbs. When we have a comprehensive list of herbs here for you. And we are the number one herb shops here in the UK. Number one. We all here at Royal Maroon Herbs. 48 Rye Lane, Peckham, London, England. Royal Maroon Herbs. We are the number one herb shop here in the UK. You can find them on every available social media platform as well. Just search Royal Maroon Herbs. Go and get your herbs right about now because you don't know herbs is the healing of the nation. Arrgh.